how is fruitfulness important well i can say that fruitfulness is one of the most important things in our lives or can i say being fruitful is the most important thing in our lives without being fruitfulness it is impossible for you to know your identity without being fruitful it is impossible for you to gain respect or people to acknowledge who you are without being fruitful it is impossible for you to live a satisfying life what do i mean by fruitfulness well this is how i want to say if you see a fish swimming in the water that means the fish is being fruitful if you see a flower blossoming from a plant from a flowering plant that means the plant is being fruitful in the same manner if the lion is attacking and hunting that means the lion is being fruitful so in for you to be fruitful you need to bring out that gift that god has given to you from within your body you know a lot of people we think that being fruitfulness means to have children to bear children well that is only in the aspect of a female or a male but over here god has made you as a man when we look at that word man that means like god when we look at that word man that means the spirit of god you know so that means in order for you to be fruitful that means you need to bring out that aspect of god well what do i mean by bring out the aspect of god every person that is born into this world is born with a gift that is hidden inside him when we look at this gift that is hidden inside you you need to unravel it or unwrap it you know when this gift that i'm talking about is not a gift that you give it to somebody but it is a gift that you gift yourself when you live in this world you gift yourself this great gift because that gift that is inside you is given by lord god almighty himself you know god has placed a gift inside you god has driven a purpose inside you and what you need to do as long as you are on in the earth is you need to unwrap that gift you need to start serving the world with that gift because the gift will only make you fruitful when you become that person that god has designed you to be that is when you become fruitful you know fruitfulness will give you a value you show value when you become fruitful you show you grow as a person when you become fruitful fruitfulness is so important so when we look at this word fruitfulness or being fruitful that means you are living a life of purpose that's the main foundation for a life of a human being many people think that i am born you know just to pay my bills i am born just to spend some time on the earth and just to die and go to heaven but do you know what god has not made you so you can go to heaven god has made you so you can bring heaven onto this earth and live a life of fruitfulness hallelujah you know when you live a life of fruitfulness that is when depression won't be there in your life are you feeling dejected today are you feeling that feeling that people are not not respecting you today well the reason why people are not respecting you today is because they don't see any value in you they don't see that fruitfulness in you if you are not being respected in your office area it is because people are not seeing value in, inside you you know when people see value in you they automatically respect you you know when people see that great value that you give or that you ooze in other words if i can say then people automatically will start respecting you. you know we all have heard this saying that you know respect is not demanded but it is commanded you know you can never demand respect from people but you know what you can command respect the way you command respect is when you bring out that value and when you show that value and you start serving that gift to the world that is when people will automatically respect you my dear brother and sister why do you think is the reason people respect bill gates why do you think people respect virat kohli why do you think people respect the great legend sachin tendulkar it is because he brings a lot of value through his back 
It is because Virat Kohli brings a lot of value through his actions on the field. It is because Bill Gates brings a lot of value addition to your life through computers. My dear brother, what is that great gift that you are possessing today? What is the great gift that you are serving today? Not feeling motivated to work on Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? That means you are not in the job of your work. You are not in the line of your work. My dear brother and sister, always remember, your work should be enjoyable. Your work should be, you know, nobody teaches a fish how to swim in the sea. Nobody teaches a lion how to roar and conquer the jungle. Nobody teaches, nobody teaches a monkey on how to jump from one tree to another. Why? Because it is already inbuilt inside them in the same manner. Nobody, nobody teaches you how you should be. It is your natural ability and your natural instincts that make you drive towards your purpose. Your future is never ahead of you, but your future is always inside of you. Your future is always inside of you. What you need to do is, you need to bring out that future. You need to fuel your days with your purpose. When you give reason for your time, that is when you're walking in pro purpose. Proverbs 18, 16, this is what it says. A gift opens the way and ushers the giver. Ushers the giver. That means it takes the giver. Whoever is giving the gift, it takes the giver into the presence of the great. My dear, are you? wanting to go into the presence of the great today? Are you, are you tired of all the misery and the miserable people that are around you? Do you want to go into the presence of the great people? Do you know what can take you over there? It is a gift that is hidden inside you. If you can take it out, shine it, present it to the world, that gift is going to take you in front of the great people. What do you think is your purpose today? What do you think is motivating you to wake up every day? What do you think is motivating you to go and conquer the world? If you do not have such ambitions, I'm telling you, you need to start having that ambitions because God is the first king and he's the king created himself through you. That's exactly what the Bible says. You know, when God says that he made the people or mankind like El Elyon. That means he made mankind just like God. God has designed you like him. Man. That's where, that's the reason why we see, you know, let us make mankind in the image and the likeness of us. That's what God says. That means God has given you the capability and the ability to rule over the, over this earth. How do you rule? You rule with your gifting. You rule with the gift that God has given to you. You start serving that gift to the world. If you're a, if you're a motivational speaker, you know, you got to sharpen your mind through reading various books so you can deliver your product or your service better. You know, if you're, if you're somebody who's doing a specific job, you got to start learning and understanding how you can do better faster, quicker, more efficient. Why? Because that is going to take you to great places. That is what is going to give you promotion. That is what is going to give you identity. My dear brother or sister, if you're listening to this video, I highly encourage you to start enjoying that gift which God has given to you. Your beginnings might be humble. You might face a lot of back backlash from your society. You might face a backlash from your relatives. You know, when I started this, I faced a ba backlash from my relatives, friends. They thought, ah, oh, who are you? What do you want to? Do you think yourself as a motivational speaker? Do you think you can, you can change people? You can inspire people? Do you feel yourself so great? This is what they asked me. But do you know what? Only if you can conquer that insult, that is when they will start respecting you. And now, today, a lot of people respect me because of who I am today. A lot of people call me and invite me into their houses because of who I am today. But do you know what? This Ernest Mohanty, the same Ernest Mohanty, was totally different way back in 2014. He was not invited to a lot of places. He was not invited to 
a lot of meetings but you know what today today my demand is a lot higher than what it was back then do not despise the small beginnings do not ignore the small beginnings never think that i am just created so i i can live a simple and a humble life no god has given you a specific gift it is up to you to identify that and nourish that gift and start serving it to the world why do you think you're watching this video it is because i am giving value to you why do you think you're listening to this video on your mobile phone or your ipad or your computer or on your tv it is because through this time you are getting receiving value for your time you know you are receiving value that is the reason why you are listening to this video the great wise man says a gift will open doors into great people my dear brother and sister if you want to be respected if you want to earn a great name if you want to be acknowledged by people you know what you need to start refining your skills you need to start refining the talent that god has given to you you need to start showcasing better better ethics at work compared to your co-workers you need to start showing that great work ethics in your life when you show all that you will be irreplaceable because your value will be higher your value will be higher so with this word i want to encourage you today i want to encourage you so that your value will be will be increased a lot more greater than what it is today your value will be increased so great that people will start respecting you for who you are for who you are so with that i would like to close this let's all close our eyes and pray oh my father we thank you for this great word that you gave to us lord bear you are saying that fruitfulness is valuable oh father oh lord if we are fruitful oh god we will be respected oh father oh lord if we are fruitful oh jesus that's when we will be identified oh god lord we thank you for this word that you have given to us oh god oh lord as whoever whoever is listening to this word oh father lord let them be touched let them be influenced through this word oh god Lord let them be let there be a great change in their lives once they start implementing and responding to this word Lord oh my father let there be peace joy and happiness whoever is watching this video and let them be a greater blessing in the coming days to come in Jesus name we ask and pray amen amen, amen. god bless you hope you have a great week ahead.